Hello and welcome back to Girl Tries Games. We're playing Mist. In the last video, we traveled to Stone Ship Age and we explored and we figured out ways to um, solve the puzzles there having to do with water and generating light. So, um, yeah, we collected the red page from Stone Ship Age and now we're here back in the Mist Island Library to return the red page to Cirrus. So let's see what he has to say. Okay. Have returned. Page. Read my prison on this forgotten island of mist. That you are. I am called Sears. I need all the red pages. I know. Must search and bring two more for the red I am released. I promise. Don't touch the blue pages. That is where I am. For my wicked brother, Akanon. He is a man of distorted mind and senses. He disgusts me. Do not release Akanon. Thirst for destruction is not. Never ending. Bring the red paint. Can you please release me from this prison? I promise. Uh -oh. It'll be great. That was a mistake. Well, basically, he wasn't saying much more than that. He continued to tell us to bring him the red pages. He also told us not to trust his brother, Aknar. But. I don't see any reason why we should trust him more than Aknar. I mean, Aknar seems like he's a little bit insane, whereas Cirrus seems like he's a little bit, like, sinister and sneaky. So who knows who to trust? Neither of these guys seem like very trustworthy people to me, so I don't see why I should trust one more than the other. So I'm going to go back to the Stone Ship Age, back to the ship, and retrieve the blue page. Let's see what Aknar's side of the story is. Okay, here we are back, back to the stone ship book. Let's travel back and go get Aknar's page. walk through the secret passageway to the other side. Let's walk through to the other side so we can get Cirrus's page. The submersible lamp is still on so we're not going to have to press the button again. Okay. Aknar's room. Let's go get the blue page. Here we go. Okay, we got it. So now we can go back the way we left last time. We, we already turned on the submersible lamp, so we won't need that again. generator anymore, I don't think. Okay, so let's empty out the 
bottom of the ship. And we can go back to the mist book and return to Mist Island with the blue page. Oh, the lamp went off. I don't think we'll be able to see the book with the lamp off, but let's try. Yep, it doesn't work. Okay. We took too long. We gotta regenerate the power. Again. We don't have to do that anymore. We're gonna have to go back up to the lighthouse. And the battery should probably be drained. Yep, see it's red. The light on it is red. Let's generate it up to the fullest extent just to make sure we have enough time before it runs out. Okay, it looks full. Let's go back down. We're going to have to go back and turn on the submersible lamp in the secret passageway. Emptying out the hallway first. Lighthouse is blinking again. Alright, back into our secret passageway. The light should be on. Yes, it is. No alarms are going off. Thank goodness. Now, I find it interesting that in all of Aegis's diaries so far, when he has talked about the ages that we are visiting, he mentions that there are other people there. That there are people on the ages, but we have yet to come across a person on these ages. Now, it may have something to do with his suspicions of Cirrus and Akinar, or Akinar, I guess, is the one he specifically mentioned that he was suspicious of. Um, I mean, they were burning his books and he felt like he needed to hide them from his sons. And it looks like, I mean, H just talked about three guys living on this island, but we only see two rooms and they're both Sarah's and Akuma's rooms. So what happened to all these people that H just has dis discussed in this journal? are back with the lights on and the mist book approaches <laughs> and we can return to the library with our blue page all right let's go to the blue book and put the page in there and see what he has to say Ages you find them. Bring more. I must have some more. That's all I ask of you. Long. It's so long since my brother, Cyrus, wrongfully imprisoned me within this book. Stupid schemes. Pretty speech. Which is endless. It should be perfectly obvious to you. He's done evil and he has destroyed all before. Do not bring the red pages to him. Do not let him trick you. He tricked our father. Murdered our father! He'll trick you! He'll murder you. Don't touch the red pages. I beg you to bring the blue pages. To me. Listen, you must obey me. Blue 
ages are my only hope. You must help me. You must help me. Okay. Akinar tells us not to trust Cirrus, and Cirrus tells us not to trust Akinar. Akinar said Cirrus is the one who trapped him in that book, and I'm pretty sure Cirrus said the same about Akinar. So who do we trust? The crazy one or the greedy, the greedy, slimy one? Who knows? We're going to need to find more pages to get a little more information out of them. So let's head to the map and go to our next land. So we've already done the gears, we've already done the ship, all that's left is the tree and the spaceship. I think we should do the spaceship next. Because that's the coolest looking icon on this map, so let's do it. Okay, we rotated the tower. So let's go back up to the tower to get our clues. Okay, so we rotated it. We opened the passageway up for us to get back to the tower. Let's close the door to the elevator and press the button. to open that front door by pressing on this picture. It's open. Okay, so let's go back down to that house. Over here on the right. Let's see if we can get 59 volts. I don't know the electrical terms. <laughs> okay, let's look at this. So the left gauge talks about power, and the right gauge talks about power to the ship. And then there are generator switches. So, pretty sure we're going to have to get that 59 volts on the right gauge, which will power the ship. So let's see what we can do here. We already have seven on each.
check the power to the ship and see if we can reset it because it's not working anymore. Okay, let's see where these wires head. Okay, so here's the building. The wires are heading out. Here's a little ladder I can see from the other side. Let's see what's up here. Let's walk up the ladder with a little lag. Here's a switch to flip. Maybe that will reset it. Let's go back down and check. Let's see if it reset I can't think of what the word is for all these like like the circuit breaker <laughs> and all that stuff. I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense. Okay, let's see if that works now. Probably would have been a good idea. Okay, so here's the wire here that we just flipped. Let's continue to follow that wire stuck between trees. <laughs> okay, continue to follow the wire. Again, stuck at trees. And here's another one. So let's go up this ladder. flip this one. Okay, hopefully that worked. Because the rest of the wire goes to the ship. Let's go make sure there's nothing on the ship itself that we need to flip. Where does the wire go to? Okay, looks fine. down here? No. Nope. nope. <laughs> that would have been cool. This real mist made a lot more areas more accessible, whereas the original game can only go so many places. Okay, so we're back down here again and hopefully we have reset the circuit. And hopefully it will work again. So let's try the first button. Ah, it's working again. Okay, so the first button needs to go to 10. The second button goes to 7. The third button goes to 8. Obviously, I clicked the wrong button and overloaded it again. So we're going to have to go flip the circuits again. Whoops. Okay, so we'll reset this one. Reset. Okay, and then we'll go reset the second one. And start again. Oh, I keep getting stuck in the trees. These trees. 
Come on, ladder. I want to use you. Why can't I use you? There we go. Okay, and now we will reset this one. Go back down. Okay, so let's go back to the little voltage place. And this time we will write down the quantity of volts each button gives off. Or generates, I guess. Okay. So, first button is 10. Take a of that. 10. Second button, 7. Whoa, whoa, my mouse fell. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, second one is 7. Third one is eight. Fourth one is sixteen. Fifth one is five. Okay. Now this one is one. This one is two. So let's start with the biggest ones we have. We have 22 and 19. That takes us to 41. Now, if we add 7 to that, we get 48. If we add 10 to that, we'll get 58. If we add 1 to that, which can't for some reason. There we go. Okay, now we got 59 volts. So we have 59 volts to the ship now, which should power up the ship. Not the, not the sea ship, the spaceship, the rocket ship. Now we've powered it up, let's go check it out and see if that door is open for us now. Still looks closed, but and now it will open. There we go. Okay, what's over here? There's a piano. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so the piano plays What's this? Okay, these buttons, they're different tones. And that replays it back to us. Okay, so that plays it back to us. So we're gonna need to find some clue as to what this piano does and what these tones do. So let's go read the Beatrice's diary about the spaceship age. Okay, let's see. Which book would it be? We've already read the Gears one. We already read this one. Let's see what this one is. Rhyme. That's not the one. Okay, this one's it. It has been a while since I have heard only silence, and I enjoy it greatly. I think for some reason I do not feel altogether welcome in this new world in which I have arrived. But how could I be unwelcome in an age with no inhabitants? It is, of course, only in my head. This world is very beautiful, but I think I have yet to ever write in a journal that an age I have linked to is horrid or disgusting. 
From the grassy hill where I am standing, I can see green fields below, along with a few scattered forests. A rather large lake looms some distance from where I am standing, yet the water's blue can be seen plainly from here. The air is fresh, and the sky is sparkled with white clouds. It is absolutely breathtaking, and yet that strange feeling again. Perhaps it is the hot breeze that continues to blow from the north. Hotter than I would have imagined. It almost singes my skin, and I feel quite uncomfortable when it comes. I will try to ignore it. Night has almost arrived, and the sunset is spectacular. Oranges and reds have settled above the western horizon. Though night has come, the horizon still glows red along past the sunset. Dark reds flow from the horizon and blend into the black sky. Again, the feeling, and I am beginning to believe it is not all in my mind. I must sleep now. I will need my strength to explore more tomorrow. I have had to return home due to an unpredictable natural occurrence more frightening than I have ever experienced. I was awakened by terrible shakings in the ground and explosions on all sides of me. Gigant gigantic balls of fire were fa falling from the sky, and I immediately left in fear of my life. I must remember to bring a missed linking book with me when I return, in case the one left there has been destroyed or damaged. I have returned to a different world than the one I left only three months ago. It has been transformed into a barren desert land, with only gigantic craters scattered across the land to provide variety. Strangely enough, the small grassy hill where I spent my first night remained exactly the way I found it. Apparently, the falling meteors did not hit this area, leaving an oasis in the midst of this horrible desolation. The hot wind, I remember, has turned into a rather pleasant breeze, which is at least one improvement. I fear it is the only improvement. The magnificent lake I saw on my first visit is now completely dried up. However, another lake now exists and appears to be quite a bit larger. I assume one of the falling meteors created this lake due to its circular shape and the jutting rock that grows out of the center of the lake. The rest of this world seems like desert, although I will verify that statement, I will verify that statement with closer inspection. Though this world has little visual excitement to offer, it offers much to the ears. Sounds constantly flow through my ears, and I have found that where a few of them originate. It seems, as Catherine says, I do find beauty in everything. Last night I was awakened by a horrible hissing. I was sweating, and the heat was so intense that I immediately dipped my head in a nearby stream to cool it down. The hot breezes had returned, along with a low roar from the ground. I walked a short distance to observe some red flames shooting up from the earth. Suddenly, the ground began to crack and a huge chasm opened. The chasm continued to grow until it was far too wide to cross. Then the tum tumult subsided, leaving only a dull roar. I have decided, however, I can use the chasm to my advantage. Perhaps the heat from the chasm can be harnessed. So there's a picture of heat and a fan and a pipe collecting heat. Even as the chasm has ripped into the surface of this world, it has opened up a whole new world to explore. Although uncomfortably hot, I found it impossible to reach a cave in the chasm that had been created, and have now explored deep into the crust of this planet. I have found a vast underground cave system that will take many years to map and explore. I will also look for a safer way to reach the underground than through the chasm wall. This age seems to change on its own, so I feel I should leave again and see if things are different when I return. It is also important that I check on Sirius and Akinar and make sure everything is going along well. When I return, I also hope to bring back some tools I will need for my plans to explore the underground. The abundance of raw materials here is beginning to amaze me. I have returned with some of the complex tools I knew I would be needing. I assumed I would have to return for more basic materials, however. It seems as though I will be able however it seems as though I will be able to find everything I need here. Of course iron is abundant, but I have also found titanium occurring naturally. I am all the more excited to begin work. Everything is set and I look forward to tomorrow. My raw materials are all here. I think I will be able to have most of my additions to the sage completed within one year. I so love working with my hands, whether writing or building. I began today on the bridge and blah, it disappears. So the ink disappears well and I have decided. Here's a picture of something turning. Here's a picture of like a satellite. Three meters is not enough support for the beams. Amazingly strong.
There's the rocket ship with something pointing to the front. Has to be one of my most prized inventions. I am extremely... Could never have imagined it to come together. I doubt. Could possibly work with 14 instead of 8. Completely fatigued. I am so happy to have completed... Tomorrow. I am leaving today in order to bring back Cirrus and Akinar. I have left them alone in Channelwood. I believe they will enjoy all there is to see here. The age seems to have stabilized. I believe the meteors set off a period of volcanic activity by piercing into the shallow crust, but the tremors have become few. I have just noticed that a large amount of this journal has curiously vanished from the very pages on which I wrote over the last 18 months. Fortunately, I have copied many of my construction notes in another journal. I do not understand the many mysteries of this world, but I trust I will discover logical answers to my questions. I have a feeling that many of my questions can be answered in another age, to which I hope to travel soon. But for now, I must simply accept this world's mysteries and take pride in my accomplishments. Okay, so here is a picture of the piano. So let's write this down. So I don't know if you guys can read music, but number one is the low C. You can draw the gr the keys out easier if you don't know what the um, um, notes are. Number two is the middle C. Three is the D sharp. The middle D sharp. Four is the F. The middle F, I think, yeah. And five is the lowest B flat. Okay. And here is a map of the age that I don't think he mentioned a name for it here. I didn't mention a name for this age. Not that I can remember. But I believe it's called Selenitic. Okay. So in the next video, we will head over to the spaceship. And we will see if we can enter the musical keys to get to the book. So stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching.